Shalom. Call Laimla, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Uklakadash. All praises be to the Most High, Yahweh, in the name of His Son, and our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. Much respect and honor to the brothers that are doing the work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and freedom to do so, pushing this gospel throughout the four corners of the earth. Salutations to the hopeful elect that are scattered abroad, and double honor and respect to the elders and the apostles a Great Millstone. Coming back at you with another lesson, the crime duo. <laughs> so it's very interesting that the Bible mentions Edom and Moab together. They are partners in crime. And it's absolutely amazing just to how accurate the Bible is when it mentions the judgment of Edom and Moab together. On one hand, the U.S. is saying that China or Moab is an adversary. And at the same time, 60% of the U.S. exports come from China, specifically to Walmart. A lot of the cheap labor comes from China. Many of the U.S. corporations have moved to Far East Asia. So the Edomites speak one thing and do another. Let me show this real quick before I play this video by Elder Mawatazak out of GMS Los Angeles. Let me show this real quick. Okay, I'm going to read this simple Google search according to the U.S. Department of Agriculture reports the USDA, Chinese investors, holdings of U.S. agricultural land surge from 13,720 acres in 2010 to 352,140 acres in 2020. So these stats are over two years old. Now that, that estimate could be upwards of 500,000 acres of U.S. farmland owned by the Chinese. So how can we trust eating food grown on farms controlled by our enemies. So, Babylon is not to be trusted. I don't know what it's going to take to get that through to Jake. <coughs> Go here. Let's play the video. Elder Mawata's out. Let's start here. It says, and I'm going to just. Uh, He's going to read an article from the New York Times concerning China. I'm going to read the title and probably a couple, first couple paragraphs. But you can, like I said, you can Google this on your own. It says, China has opened police stations in the U.S. and Canada to monitor Chinese citizens report. The, that's bullshit. Right out to, to monitor their own citizens. Okay? I'm getting the uh, ancient vibe of these nations surrounding us. They already got us surrounded uh, uh, via the ships in the sea that's anchored around Babylon. On the west coast, on the east coast, down in the uh, 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 the Panama Canal. All right. And now they now they now they're setting up so-called police stations on the soil of America. Okay. 
don't get this thing twisted, man. These these nations are after the children of Israel. All right. Okay, he mentioned Panama Canal. The Chinese had the most ships than any other nation in the world. Now they're working with the Panamanians to control a major canal, the Panamanian Canal, in which they can transport these ships, to pre-posture these ships, to attack the U.S. and their allies with Russia, Gog and Magog. Keep in mind, there's a Russian nuclear submarine unaccounted for. It's very possible that that Russian submarine could be utilizing a Panamanian canal, which is a nuclear capable Russian submarine that's not accounted for. Let's continue. The narrative of the Bible is what's real, okay? It says, it says China has opened dozens of overseas police stations, police service stations around the globe to monitor its citizens living abroad, including one location in New York City and three in Toronto, okay? Now, New York ain't going to be the only spot, okay? But anyway, let's read on. It says, these operations issue official bilateral police and judicial cooperation and violate the international rule of law and may violate the territorial integrity in third countries involved in setting up a parallel policing mechanism using illegal methods reads a report by safeguard defenders a human rights watchdog released earlier this morning or early, I'm sorry, earlier this month. Okay, so those that actually know the law and that's into, they, they, they see this as a violation of international law. See, what, what, what these people have failed to see is that this one world government is, is, is just that. Okay? Everybody's on board with it. Those countries that are not on board, these are the countries that they're going to. We're going to prove that. <clears throat> Let's go here. Absolutely spot on with the scriptures as usual. Let's go here to Psalms 83. So the Bible does not lie at all. These nations are all on one accord. Keep Israel from being a nation. It's okay for any of these other nations to rise economically, militarily, but not the Israelites. Go here. <clears throat> Psalms 83. Go to verse 1. A song or psalm of Asaph. Keep not thou silence, O power, Hold not thy peace, and be not still, O power. For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up the head. These nations are rising up. That great red dragon, with the body and the tail of the United Nations, have military bases in America. The Chinese have set up a military police station in New York, and they have three locations in Toronto. At least that's what's being that's what's being reported right now. Let's go to verse three, Psalms eighty-three, verse three. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. The U.S., the U.N. Secret Councils, Trilateral Commission, the Council on Foreign Affairs, the Bilderberg Group, 
the Club of Rome. So this is the Roman Empire 2.0 leading these nations. They're not going to use U.S. troops on American soil to govern or to execute arrests and detainment operations on its own citizens. <clears throat> Read that again. Psalms 83 verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and have consulted against thy hidden ones. The hidden ones are the Israelites. That's what this is all about. The UN, the one world government, coming after the woman, the daughter of Zion. <coughs> Excuse me. Psalms 83 verse 4. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. So this sounds like something right out of, out of a Hollywood film or out of a movie production title. <clears throat> this is the Most High's movie. So this thing is happening real time. They have said, Psalms 83 verse 4, they have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. For they have consulted together with one consent. They are confederate against thee. A United Nations flag is being planted on U.S. soil. Confederate. Let's look at that word, confederate. <laughs> Comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H-1285. Berith. Berith. Compact. Confederacy. Covenant. League. League of Nations, which is the United Nations. In modern times, I'm not talking about the earlier organization. See, Alliance, Covenant, League. <coughs> so this revised Confederation of Nations includes Babylon or America. One consent, a one world order. Now who's in bed with the daughter of Babylon? Psalms 83 verse 6. The tabernacles of Edom and the Ishmaelites of Moab and the Hagarines. Not going to read all of these, but the key is that this is a UN operation. It's not a unilateral event. It's multilateral across multiple nations working in concert together. Moab is listed with Edom along with Ishmael, Saudi Arabia, and the Hagarines other Middle Eastern nations like Jordan, United Arab Emirates, Dubai. So this thing is real. Let's go back to the video. Keep in mind, Moab as well, working with Edom. After, all right? Like Iran. They got a coup going on in Iran. Reads... A report by Safeguard Defenders, a human rights watchdog, released earlier this morning. Or early, I'm sorry, earlier this month. Okay, so those that actually know the law and that's into, they, they, they see this as a violation of international law. See, what, what, what these people have failed to see is that this one world government is, is, is just that. Okay? 
everybody's on board with it. Those countries that are not on board, these are the countries that they're going after. All right? Like Iran. They got a coup going on in Iran right now so that they can take over that, that country. Okay? That's a... And by the way, <clears throat> that uprising had absolutely nothing to do with being stirred up by a woman not wearing her covering or her hijab. That's utterly ridiculous. That's a cover story, a front. So this sounds like the CIA have their hands in this thing, all in it, stirring the pot. Cool going on, that, that's all that uproar ain't because uh, they killed a woman because she wasn't wearing her uh, her covering. <clears throat> now that's the what it, what they're reporting, but it's deeper than that. Okay, it says the report titled "110 Overseas Chinese Transnational Policing Going Wild" details Chinese extensions extensive efforts to combat fraud by its citizens living overseas, in part by opening several police stations on five continents that have assistant, assisted Chinese authorities carrying out policing operations on foreign, foreign soil. See, this is important right here, <clears throat> because they're only reporting one Chinese base or military police station in New York and three in Toronto. But look at all these acres of U.S. land. This is as of 2020. <clears throat> 352,140 acres of U.S. farmland as of 2020. And that number could easily be up to 500,000 acres of U.S. farmland. You can do a lot with 500,000 acres of U.S. farmland. Military bases, air bases, special operations training, police stations, internment facilities. I mean, the list goes on and on. Now, the story that they're giving, you know that's all, you know, they want to monitor. That's all bullshit. They are getting in position because they're getting ready to strike. Talking about these, these other nations. They're getting ready to come after you, Jake. All right? That's why the scriptures say, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Okay? And don't think for one minute that these, these goddamn Moabites ain't down with Esau. Okay, they down with Esau, but it's going to, they're going to burn this place too. Okay. Yep. Scriptures back that up. Everything this brother is saying is scriptural. <coughs> Let's go here. Let's go to Psalm. So Moab, China, has always been in bed with Edom, the Edomites. Psalms 109. Let's go to verse 9. Excuse me. The book of Psalms, chapter 108, verse 9. Moab is my wash pot over Edom, will I cast out my shoe. Over Philistia, will I triumph. So these nations are together, cohabitating together. Peoples, multitudes, nations, and tongues. So Moab is going to be beat down into servitude. And Edom is going to go into the pit. And they're going to be permanent employees, slaves. Go oh, here, Psalms. 108 verse 10 who will bring me into the strong city who will lead me into Edom 
So the strong man is the military arm of Edom, which is the daughter of Babylon. So these nations have joined themselves unto the other in order to keep the nation of Israel from coming back together. All 12 tribes. That's what this is about. <clears throat> Destroy the house of David and keep it in a state of ruin. So that strong city is America or the daughter of Babylon. Psalms 108 verse 11. Will not thou, O power, who has cast us off, and will not thou, O God, go forth with our hosts? Armies are going to be raised up. Chariots of the Lord, a mighty men of the house of David. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. So, one of my favorite scriptures, Fear not, thou worm, Jacob. So let's see if I can find that. <clears throat> so we're going to get help, Lord willing. Adawan Ratazah, excuse me. I think it's Isaiah 41. Let's go to Isaiah 41. Let's go to verse... 12 Isaiah 41 let's go to verse 10 fear thou not for I am with thee be not dismayed for I am thy power I will strengthen thee yea I will help thee yea I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness behold all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. See, so this war is by a multilateral front under the UN flag, the Confederation of Nations. Why you think they make these movies Star Wars, Battlestar Galactica? You see, Empire Strikes Back, all based on the Bible. So the tabernacle of David is being strengthened and is going to be made into the Lord's battle axe. Isaiah 41, verse 12. Thou shalt seek them and shall not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord, thy power, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. Fear not, thou worm Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So the spirit is going to be turned up on the tabernacle of David. Let's go back. And that's that help that's coming. See? Psalms, Psalms 108 verse 12. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. I will help thee, saith the Lord. So this is a spiritual intervention that's coming. Spiritual intervention. Psalms 108, verse 13. Through God we shall do valiantly, for he it is 
that shall tread down our enemies. So we can do all things through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. Kwam Yasharala. Keep going. See? So we're seeing a recycle of the Lord's mighty men coming back around full circle. <clears throat> what has been is occurring now. The tabernacle of David re-emerging as the authority on the earth. Let's go here. Historically, and under, in order to understand the present and the future, we must understand history. Go here, First Chronicles 18. First Chronicles 18, verse 11. Them also King David dedicated unto the Lord with the silver and the gold that he brought from all these nations, from Edom and from Moab and from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines and from Amalek. So these nations are ruling today. Ever since the house of David fell, then the kingdom has been on standby. So now the men of the tabernacle of David are preaching and teaching in these last days. The apostles and prophets and the mighty men, primarily here in Babylon. And the global elite, the great red dragon, is aware of that. So these nations are trying to come together in the strong city. That's why we read that. Who will lead me into the strong city? That's America. So now these nations are intact under the revised Roman Empire and the UN or United Nations. So this is going to happen again of these nations being subdued as it happened under King David. Read this again. <clears throat> First Chronicles 18, verse 11. Then also King David dedicated unto the Lord with the silver and the gold that he brought from all these nations, from Edom and from Moab and from the children of Ammon and from the Philistines and from Amalek. Moreover, Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, slew of the Edomites in the valley of Salt, 18,000. So these Edomites are going to be slaughtered as in the days of old. The Bible says what has been will be again, and there is no new thing under the sun. We also read in the book of Kings, that the chariots showed up over the mulberry trees and helped King David slay the Philistines. So the Bible repeats itself. See, let's go here. Second Ezra 15, verse 43. The book of Second Edris, chapter 15. Let's go to verse 41. Fire and hell and flying swords and many waters that all fields may be full and all rivers with the abundance of great waters. And they shall break down the cities and walls, mountains and hills, trees of the wood and grass of the meadows and their corn. So these missiles, prophets are calling flying swords, are going to tear down 
these cities. It's going to become a ruinous heap. Remember that movie, The Book of Eli. They show this in a post-apocalyptic scene. Eli represents one of the men of the Lord carrying the Bible. Let's go to verse 43. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon and make her afraid. Keep, keep in mind that strong city in the book of Psalms is America, the daughter of Babylon. Watch who we read is joined unto them. Let's keep going. Verse 43. And they shall go steadfastly unto Babylon and make her afraid. They shall come to her and besiege her. The star and all wrath shall they pour out upon her. Then shall the dust and smoke go up unto the heaven and all they that be about her shall bewail her. A nuclear mushroom cloud and various mushroom clouds coming from America is going to ascend up into the heavens. And they that remain under her shall do service unto them that have put her in fear. And thou, Asia, who? Moab. See? Moab and Edom, the crime duo, partners in crime. And thou, Asia, that are partaker of the hope of Babylon and are the glory of her person. They modeled themselves after Babylon. And now they're spearheading the effort towards the Internet of Things, smart cities, social credit score systems. Because the international bankers are traversing from using America as the hammer of the earth, the military arm. They're transitioning over to making China their military arm or the new hammer. But it's not going to happen. The Lord is going to intervene. Moab will not become the next world superpower. The tabernacle of David is going to be the next global government under the new world order of Yahweh Shai. So Moab and thou Asia. Matter of fact, let's go back to, uh, let's go back here. Psalm 60, verse Verse 9, who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Go up to verse 8. Moab is my washpot over Edom. Will I cast out my shoe? Philistia, triumph thou because of me. So this United Nations coalition being led by Edom and backed by Moab is going to be destroyed. Starting with the strong city, the daughter of Babylon. So these nations are joined unto her. See, let's go here first. Jeremiah 21, excuse me, the book of Jeremiah, chapter 25. Let's go to verse 20. And all the mingled people and all the kings of the land of us. Who, who abbreviates their country as U.S. or us? Shashak. Where the daughter of Babylon does that. And all the mingled people and all the kings of the land of us. And all the kings of the land of the Philistines and Ashkelon and Azah and Ekron and the remnant of Ashdod. The least of the flock is occupying 
Ashdod, the Holy Land, and the Philistines, these descendants of Ham in the Middle East and North Africa, Ashkelon, the Holy Land area, and those western coast areas of modern-day Israel, Ashdod. Go to here, Jeremiah 25, verse 21. Edom and Moab and the children of Ammon. Edom and Moab are spearheading this effort. And we know that Japan is also a Far East Asia ally. Now, who else is Moab? South Korea is an ally of the daughter of Babylon, Edom. The Bible is the most powerful book on earth. So you have Edom and Moab joined unto them, China, South Korea, and Ammon is joined unto this beast in Far East Asia, Japan. Why you think North Korea fired five missiles over Japan and recently fired another one over the island of Japan. Anyway, Moab and Edom. Let's go here. We're going to go to Zephaniah. The book of Zephaniah, chapter 2. Let's go to verse 7. Zephaniah 2, verse 6. And the sea coast shall be dwellings and cottages for shepherds and foes for flocks. And the coast shall be for the remnant of the house of Judah. They shall feed thereupon in the houses of Ashkelon. Shall they lie down in the evening for the Lord their power shall visit them and turn away their captivity. So Israel is going to occupy the kingdom, the holy land. And a new Jerusalem is going to be established on the earth. The mighty men are going to come down. The men of the elect, starting with the tabernacle of David, and take the kingdom. Zephaniah 2, verse 8. I have heard the reproach of Moab. China keeps coming up. They're not an enemy. That's a false narrative. Zephaniah 2, verse 8. I have heard the reproach of Moab and the revelings of the children of Ammon, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. Let's look at this word, the revelings. I think I know what it means, but I'm not sure. Revelings comes from the Hebrew. Strong's H, 1421. Geduf. Geduf. The vilification. Making Jake into villains. Reviling. The Bible says, Thou shalt not revile the gods, lords, the sons of the Most High, or Yasharala. Let's go back. <coughs> Excuse me. Zephaniah 2. Let's go back to verse 9. Let's go to verse 8. I have heard the reproach of Moab and the revilings of the children of Ammon, whereby they have reproached my people and magnified themselves against their border. Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, surely Moab shall be as Sodom and the children of Ammon as Gomorrah, even the breeding of nettles and salt pits and a perpetual desolation, the residue of my people shall spoil them, and the remnant of my people shall possess them. The elect is going to take the kingdom. The battle acts of the Lord. 
the mighty men of King David are back and are going to be turned up. Zephaniah 2 verse 10. This shall they have for their pride because they have reproached and magnified themselves against the people of the Lord of hosts. So the Lord has heard of the pride of Moab and Ammon. What else down there? I think it's Isaiah 16. Isaiah 16. Let's go to verse 6. Let's go up to verse 5. And in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it. Well, we got to go up. Isaiah 16, verse 4. Let mine outcast dwell with thee. Moab, be thou a covert to them from the face of the spoiler, for the extortioner is at an end. The spoiler ceaseth, the oppressors are consumed out of the land. The spoilers are Edomites, followed by the other nations. And Moab is a hiding place for Jake, primarily the elect, the remnant. Isaiah 16, verse 5, And in mercy shall the throne be established, and he shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David, judging and speaking judgment, and hasting righteousness. Yahushai is close to return and occupy the throne of his father. We're close. Isaiah 16, verse 6. We have heard of the pride of Moab. He is very proud, even of his haughtiness and his pride and his wrath. But his lies shall not be so, giving us pharmaceuticals and telling us that's healing medicine. 90% of the pharmaceutical imports come from China. I thought they were our enemies. And the food they're selling us. A lot of that is not real beef, but synthetics. Because if they weren't down, if Esau really hated them the way he say he does and China this and China that, why would he allow them to set up a police station in the Empire State? Okay? The Empire State, there is a Chinese police station. So... Let's go back to the scriptures. So I'm going to copy and paste the beloved Elder Mawatazak's video in the description box. Hopefully this lesson has been edifying. All praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai Bashem Kwakadash. See you on the next lesson, Lord willing. Kwam Yasharala. And the bot about we got next, Lord willing. We're close. Barakatum. Shalom.